everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing kind of a get ready with me but more importantly a full day wear test slash review on the new it cosmetics matte CC cream I was so excited when this launched because I was always on the hunt for like that CC cream where it could be like my one-stop shop in the morning as some of you may know I get up really early in the morning so I'm always looking for any kind of time saver and the regular it cosmetics CC cream I know it's got great reviews and it's a really hyped up product but because I do have oily skin I was a little bit hesitant to try that because I always kind of heard slash knew it was geared more towards uh, those of you with dry to normal skin because it's got more voluminous finish so when they released the matte version I knew I had to have it I will say um, I have worn this once before so it's not gonna be first impression I kind of wanted to try it out once before for you guys so that this could be like a second day full kind of like review instead of just like a first impression so I have a more well-rounded opinion um, it doesn't really have the best reviews on Sephora but I did buy this in person this is actually the shade medium neutral I thought it was just gonna be medium um, but when I went in store and I swatched them I found medium neutral was the best option for me um, and I do want to say quickly that the shade range yes is not the best at all they only have 12 shades I believe and I feel like with CC creams I feel like brands think that they can just come out with like fewer shades and have them be like more all-encompassing and being like fair fair neutral light medium whatever it may be but the fact of the matter is is that um it just won't have enough undertones to match everybody like that's just what it is at the end of the day so I definitely feel like that's something that they should definitely take into consideration so before we get into the rest of the claims don't forget to please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I post typically Wednesdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Um, I will say the next video I am posting is probably gonna be another wear test but on different products other than foundation so if you're interested in that come back to my channel on Wednesday for that because I just I don't know I want to get into trying new products so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get on into it okay so as I was saying here's the packaging you get 1.08 fluid ounces and this does retail for $38 so I feel like that's pretty average now this is a CC cream so for those of you who aren't familiar with what a CC cream is basically it claims it's gonna be your moisturizer primer foundation all-in-one and the it cosmetics CC creams specifically are known for being kind of like full coverage so it's not gonna be like a light tinted moisturizer situation like it's going to give you full foundation coverage I have used this once before and and I found the coverage to be medium but when I apply it to my face today I want to kind of test it out with a primer on half of my face because it is a CC cream and because it claims that it can do moisturizing and priming steps I'm going to do one half of my face um, with just on my bare skin because my skin is bare right now I don't have moisturizer or anything I really want to put this to the test and compare how the sides look at the end of the day it does have SPF of 40 which is good it's a physical sunscreen so it could be better for those of you with sensitive skin because it's not chemical and it's paraben free cruelty free allergy tested and I'm gonna actually go on sephora.com and read to you what the rest of the claims are claims that has full coverage it's proven to reduce shine and control oil for up to 12 hours it's infused with charcoal to detoxify collodial clay to absorb oil and tea tree extract to combat blemishes plus an anti-aging serum made of collagen peptides niacin hyaluronic acid vitamins and antioxidants so basically it claims it's like a miracle in a bottle and um, I will say the first time I used it I did notice that I had to blot in the middle of the day but that's pretty common with everything um, I live in Vegas it's 110 degrees outside so regardless of what I wear I will have to blot once or twice but um, for the most part I did find that the finish was not dewy it was a really natural finish and you're gonna see after I apply it for the first time on camera without powder before I go in with powder and stuff you're gonna see what the finish is on my skin because that's when you'll see the finish but yeah okay let's go ahead and get started so I'm going to put my hair back every time I put my headband on I'm always like I'm gonna put my head back but no I'm gonna put my hair back and I'm going to go ahead and prime this half of my face with my Too Faced primed and peachy uh, primer it's like my favorite primer and again I'm doing this because I want to see if the foundation or if the CC cream rather makes a difference and if it really does last well on its own because it claims it's got a built-in primer moisturizer situation underneath it so that's why I'm gonna apply this to my bare skin on this half 
All right, and I never apply CC creams with sponges. For me personally, with my oily skin, a brush is always the best way to go. So I am going to be using my Morphe M439 with this product. It does have a little pump. So again, this is my bare half and this is my primed half. I'm going to be doing two pumps total. That's how much coverage I usually go for. So I'm gonna do one, two. Ooh, that actually looks like a lot more than I need. Let's see, I'm gonna start putting this on my skin. So it does feel a little bit thicker than your average foundation. I know I was reading some reviews that say it is a little bit thicker of a product, but I mean, it does have a little bit of those brush strokes if you try to like, like really just kind of swirl it out. So I feel like after you go in, you should probably tap it in with a brush as opposed to swiping it after your first layer or your first kind of initial application. But you can see like two pumps is pretty good coverage. Like that's how much coverage I would normally get from my normal foundation because as you guys know, I don't really like to build foundation layers. I prefer to spot conceal with a concealer so I don't have so much product like all over my face. But I really think that this does do a good job and I'm gonna kind of, Come a little bit closer so you can see what it looks like after the first layer before concealer and everything. So, I don't know, this is the side with primer. This is the side without primer. To me, looking in the mirror, they look pretty much identical. I didn't really notice any skipping on this side. So, it truly might be a primer because the first time I wore it, I didn't use a primer either. I really wanted to just kind of give it a test. And some foundations if you don't use a primer or cc creams they do get patchy but i didn't notice any problem blending it out like you can see just kind of blend it out all on its own that looks pretty good to me can you guys see and the foundation is a pretty natural finish i wouldn't say it's super chalkboard matte i don't think it's one of those super mattifying um products like the finish on my skin looks pretty natural almost satin so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face and I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. So I put on the rest of my face. I'll kind of briefly go over what I put on. I used my Essence Brighten Up powder to highlight underneath my eyes. I used my Too Faced Peach Perfect Loose Setting Powder to set all over my face. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer flower blush in the shade uh, Blair Blair Warm Hibiscus and then the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Everglow Highlight. And then um, I used the Morphe uh, 25B palette. It's like an old, oldish palette on my eyes. And the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in the shade Still Crazy on my lips. And I'm actually going to go ahead and set that all down with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I do want to use a setting spray because I don't ever, ever, ever wear foundation or something without setting it. So I really want to test its potential with um, all of my necessary steps that I use when I apply makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and spritz them on my face. It feels so good. Okay, while that's drying, I want to see how it kind of melts everything into the skin. So this is what my face looks like up close. And I'm also going to show you what it looks like in natural lighting as well, like without uh, extra lights that I have right now. Um, I want to say that the foundation looks really good. I know I used two pumps, but only after I did the two pumps, I knew that was going to be like a lot because the first time I applied it, I used a pump and a half and I thought that it was kind of like medium coverage, but two pumps definitely I feel like does live up to the full coverage kind of hype you can see i did not spot conceal at all i mean i have a tiny bit of acne scarring and hyperpigmentation peeking through but for the most part i think this looks great two pumps i really do think it gives you full coverage um i hope it doesn't break me out i did notice the first time after i used this foundation or the cc cream i did have a breakout on my face the next day however i'm not sure if it's because of that or if it's because of the face mask i used that night which was like the sunday riley sulfur acne mask i did not like that at all it smelled terrible and it stayed on my skin like that sulfur smell like oh i did not like it and I don't know if it was that mask that kind of purged my skin because some acne masks will bring stuff to the surface and that's why you think you'll have breakouts, but they'll go away in a couple of days. 
it is kind of going away the breakout happened like over here so hopefully I won't notice a breakout after today hey guys so I'm actually editing this video um, the day after I filmed it and I just wanted to update you and say that I don't think that this is irritating my skin I woke up the next day without any upcoming you know whiteheads or blemishes so yeah I think we are good to go on that front but I'm gonna go about my day I actually have to go to the strip <laughs> I have to run a couple errands so I'll see you in a little bit all right guys I just got to the strip and I wanted to point out that my nose pad marks because I've been wearing my sunglasses normally um, every time I wear sunglasses <clears throat> excuse me, on top of foundation, they leave little marks just cause like, you know, it's pressing, but it doesn't look that bad. So I'm very impressed. Um, I don't think it's too tacky because I did set it. And I also did want to mention that it does not feel heavy on my face. I know I read some reviews saying that it feels heavy, but for me personally, it just feels like a normal foundation would. Like I don't really feel it like super sitting on my face. So yeah, we're about an hour in. I'm going to go ahead and go inside and I'll see you in a bit. Now I feel like since I'm like walking outside, my my um, nose pad lines are like digging in a little bit more. You can see it's running a little bit, but I don't think that's necessarily the foundation's fault. Overall, it still looks pretty good. I don't look too oily even though I've been walking. Hey guys, I am here to wrap this video up, but um, the sun is actually going down. You know fall's about to start soon when it gets a little bit darker uh, earlier on in the day, but I have had this makeup on for six to seven hours and I wanted to just get my final check-in with natural light still peeking through so you could see like the full real deal of what's been going on. Um, so yeah, here we are. I have not touched up once throughout the day. You guys saw in my little clips that I was out and about, I was walking and when I was walking, um, I had sweat literally dripping down my forehead. But if we analyze this, we can see that my forehead, I am a little bit shiny. I do get a little bit shiny um, inevitably throughout the day, especially if I'm outside. But my lipstick is all kind of smudged off and I have some on my lips from eating. But um, yeah, I know that in the beginning of the video, I primed my face on this half, but I didn't prime it on this half. So if we're to really look at the difference, I mean, what do you guys think? I don't think there's actually much of a difference at all. Like they both look the same in terms of, you know, oiliness. I do believe it's a matte-ish foundation. Again, I'm very oily, so I will inevitably have to touch up throughout the day. But I think for having gone seven hours, walking out and about in the heat, I actually did go outside and play with my dog as well. Okay, I wanted to just show you in a different light as well. Also natural light, but Maple was in the living room, now I'm in my bedroom. Um, I don't think this is terrible. Like, I actually look pretty freaking good for seven hours walking out and about um, in the heat I didn't touch up at all and my face looks a little bit oily but it's not bad at all so I do think that this is a good product I know that some people complained it was heavy and that you know it just was too thick and it is a little bit thick I would say that that is a con I was actually surprised that I don't have bigger like nose pad markings and sweat drip marks on my forehead like you can see it didn't really break apart it's just a little bit oily from my oils peeking through from the heat and the sweat but overall it looks still pretty good it looks intact and i did take a flash test i will enter the photo right here right now um and i didn't get flashback despite there having been sunscreen in the product so yeah i would give this product an a minus because it did last really well i think it's matte for what a matte product can do for me since I am very oily um, but I do think that this is great I'm giving it an A minus not an A because it was a little bit thick and a little bit harder to blend out because it was thick so you just need to take a little bit more time otherwise you do get those brush marks as I showed you while I was applying the foundation in the beginning of the video um, but yeah I mean what do you guys think and I don't think priming really made that much of a difference like it's still 
it looks pretty much the same on both sides. So I do think that you could use this without a primer and still have it look great. So yeah, I'm looking forward to using this more. I do enjoy it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.